all right guys and welcome back to the channel my name is d free and for today's video we have super saiyan 2 goku shout out to super saiyan 2 goku because boy there are none of them in the game super saiyan 2 is like the most least represented form in the game at this point uh and i know that they had a really meta character for a really long time in that in that tag group but man we need more super saiyan 2s let me know in the comments down below which super saiyan 2 character you want to see released um so 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 we actually just got one tag so anyway um this goku's pretty awesome i like him a lot what they did for this guy is that they allowed for him to just kind of do what he wants to do better which is more so walling off the opponent stuff like that they gave him vanish restoration here which is nice uh the green card now picks up draw speed restores key gets damage cancels their upgrades he also can draw that green right here on the main ability very very nice stuff also whenever they switch versus him things happen <clears throat> he draws a green twice and uh also restores key and also gets a sub countdown for allies i was so for un, for the record under this in this video i was under the impression he was getting a damage buff it might be separately oh no it's it's so this is okay no no, no never mind this is when they switch versus him yeah uh but he does get a damage buff so these effects trigger at the same time so like when he enters the battlefield this effect triggers and then also if they switch versus him because it'll proc it again anyways if they switch when he enters whatever he gets extra damage he gets the enemy a debuff he gets health restoration so a lot of stuff is happening for this guy when he's versus an enemy also that's not all they also gave him a lot of damage cut so he has uh 35 percent here uh when the battle starts he also has 30 percent when he cover changes so this guy is going to be a nice wall and he heals a ton we talked about how he heals on the main ability 30 percent that's a good amount for this guy also while he's out there and he gets hit he restores allies health five times by three percent not a great amount but you'll take it everybody healing 15 percent cumulatively will take that also chops off three dragon balls also if he's below 50 percent hp when he gets hit he will then trigger a 15 percent health restoration and then anytime they do a ultimate awakened arts or a blue card and he's on standby he also chops off his sub count and oh by the way this is a huge change he automatically had that old school where when you cover change you get the plus two sub count or whatever it was and he was gonna be taking forever to switch in they took that off but not only did they take that off they made it to where he switches two counts faster so he's always going to be available basically to switch in this goku i love the design choice for him huge props i really like the design uh the only thing i wish is that they would just change the z abilities they used to do these for balance changes they just don't do it for zenkai's for whatever reason this is just just this this doesn't make any sense it needs to be fixed it's terrible like it's it's actually terrible um Goku has a lot of damage potential, though his offensive numbers are really low, so he needs a lot of switches to happen with him on the battlefield as an offensive character to even get that. But he also can combo a good amount of cards if they're not going to knock him back, so that's the only thing you need to be worried of. He doesn't have a great modifier on the blue card, so that's not really going to do much, but he does pick up a damage increase as well, so that might offset that to an extent. But the defense is where it's at for this guy. He heals a ton. Defensive numbers are super high. High damage cut number as well. A plus design for me personally so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this goku and stay tuned because we will have more videos for him coming up soon all right guys here we go with the first match of today's video all right let's get things underway here that's not ideal i'll just throw this even though i'm gonna miss it just so i don't have to use my vanish we actually got double um gauge for that so that's also nice oh it's a drop combo god dang it oh well <clears throat> The destroying of Dragon Balls is real nice. We're both going to lose a Dragon Ball right here. Okay. Let's go for a blast. That'll give me a green, right? When he covers, I'll get a green. There it is. That's actually pretty neat. It's unfortunate I couldn't do anything there. <laughs> like, if I had just... If I had got that sooner, if I had another card to use the draw speed with... It's just a fluke situation I was in, but if I could have used that sooner, got that sooner, I would have been set, man. Also, really like the eight sub count. Fairly close to uh, being able to switch him back. He chopped all the way down to four, which is nice, too. I like the utility a lot. He reminds me kind of of the other yellow Goku, <clears throat> the one from the, uh, the family Kamehameha. He kind of reminds me of him. So I really like him because of that. Nice drop. Okay. <laughs> 
Alright. There's a cover. This time, though, I can actually do it. I can actually do it this time. I'll get a few cards right here. Or not, because it won't register. The game didn't register inputs, dude. Are you kidding me? I dash up, all this fun stuff, and it doesn't register any of it. Sorry, buddy. I need to do that. Come on, game. You can't set me up for failure like that. This Goku's been doing some good damage, though. To be fair, because all that switching just keeps stacking his damage up. Do you not know I have Vanish? Apparently not. You need to read this guy. I understand that, though, because I sometimes don't read the characters either. The green was kind of wasted because I can't do anything here. Maybe I'll get a sidestep, though. There it is. Interesting. There's another buff there. Yeah, all that uh, that switching and all that stuff just keeps giving me buffs. Pretty interesting character. Because he has that passive in there that's when he's faced with an enemy, right? So it's just proccing repeatedly. Okay. Sidesteps. Lot! This Goku right here, damn near soloing. <laughs> this boy put new work. Ooh, he wasn't going to switch? Kudos, man. I thought for sure he was going to switch right there. He's not even on a cover either. He's just naturally tanking these hits really well. Okay, he's at disadvantage. Let's see how he does. He's doing so much damage, but it's because, in part because he's been able to stay in the battle for so damn long. <laughs> My goodness, AT just pops in out of nowhere. Although those effects do fall off. It's not like he's just getting a bunch of them and they're not falling off. Thank you. Okay, let's go back because he's not going to do enough. But I was impressed. That was my first time ever using him. I just read his kit five minutes ago. percent of you guys are not subscribed to the channel so be sure to do so who uh, I'm sorry Vegito I just didn't have it today maybe I'll have it later in another video but right now today I just don't got it but what I do got is cover nullification <laughs> buddy <laughs> You're nullified. <laughs> you didn't realize? Is he a key on entry? No. I was gonna say I don't think I saw a key on entry in this kit. That's very unfortunate. There's his effect and the heal, blah blah. Ooh, good play, man. Switch, give me buff. Another card, huh? So there's another Dragon Ball. Switch, give me buff. Ooh. Thank you. Another switch, give me buff. Yeah. Hey, I like this Goku a lot. <laughs> I like this Goku a lot. I like this Goku a lot. He's definitely my type of character. Two greens. Disgusting. Tap punches, huh? Yeah. Oh, I tried to get that tap in late. I got greedy. I shouldn't use my greens. Oh, thank you. Ooh, drop again. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I like this Goku a lot, man. <laughs> he is definitely my favorite type of character. That's fine. Like, he doesn't do anything flashy, but I like him a lot. He's cool. Ooh. I'm gonna throw this. Oh, I thought he would go for another blast. Oh, but that's landing. Kill. <laughs> God damn. This Goku is a menace. Rush? No. This Goku is a menace. Why does the guy keep dropping every three seconds? He's like dropped like five times. This Goku is a menace. 
Oh, I know he's dropping because I have cover change characters. Duh. <laughs> but I'm not trying to switch. <laughs> I'm just trying to leave the Goku in as much as I can. God damn, look how much damage they, he did to them. Two hits took their whole life off. 18 million. Oh, thanks. Just destroyed my whole hand, huh? I actually went for a tap punch. It just didn't register. This game don't be registered. Nothing, dude. No. Okay. I can obviously just rush, but I'm trying to at least get one more combo in. This guy still has his freaking gauge on. Look at—he's not trying to drop combo anymore either. That stupid dumb gauge, man. Oh yeah, now you're going crazy. It's not like you just used a rush. You should have like no cards, right? Good damage, Goku. Good lord. I'm gonna rush. What is that? Because those blasts. So maybe we just wrap this here. A bunch of blasts. Okay, cool. Yeah, obviously the blast was the right choice for him. That's why I didn't choose it. I am. I really like this Goku. But like I said, he reminds me of that family Kamehameha yellow Zenkai Goku a lot too. It's not like they do a ton of similar stuff. But I just like characters that are like like these two, like Tapion or. I guess they're all yellow too funny uh, <laughs> that just do the intangible stuff dude i like ultimate gohan i used him recently i like characters that do intangible stuff i think that characters like this goku are the peak design i don't i i don't and, I, and i'm not saying that to say like they're the best characters or anything like that i like the design choices for some other characters that are really good too i don't like the design choices for some of the gauges I hate Gogeta's gauge. I hate Rosé's gauge. I hate Rosé's design in general. I think he's very like poorly designed, but they've, they've always done that. Kefla was poorly designed. Vegito Blue, poorly designed. The, the problem is, I think, is that they try to do the damn power creep thing, and they're obviously doing it intentionally, and just for the record, there will be a, a time, probably very soon, when Rosé gets power crept from being like the best 1A, 1B type character in the game in Gogeta 2, where they actually have a clear character that's better than them, because that's just the way this game is gonna go, clearly. So anyway, moving on from that, just horror, um, it's always been the case. It's not surprising that we're here. But I think that there is room for characters like this Goku that, that are not the best damn character in the game, but are still usable. Like he's solid. I like him a lot. He does everything I need him to do. Seriously, I, I can't be mad at this guy. I think this is peak design, right? There's nothing to be mad about. All right, let's play the next one and that'll be our final one. This is where ultra abilities really suck, by the way. I, I assume he's going Super Saiyans, that Vegeta is like a misdirection for whatever reason. This is where ultra abilities kind of suck, dude. Like, both those characters want to be on, a, what, a fusion team, right? They both have the fusion ultra abilities. You know where that really sucks, too? Uh, it's like, with Majin Buu and this yellow Goku and stuff, if you wanted to use those types of characters with this freaking Vegito, it's just terrible. Because the leader slot is needed for the ultra ability and these characters. Because to fix their Z abilities, on it's just, man, ultra abilities really, really, really suck. All right, um, not going to be the longest video. I do have other videos planned for the Goku. I definitely am gonna use him, so stay tuned for those. This is our last match, guys. Here we go. Shoot, the Vegeta's not a misdirection. Okay, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about the stuff I was saying a second ago about the design. Uh, like, what's your favorite design character in the game? Also, I've been kind of pointing it out a little bit. I am kind of selling some of my collectibles. Check out the link down below in the description if you have more car in or interested. All right, let's go ahead and get things underway. Go ahead and get the switch. The double green, love to see it, and type advantage. <laughs> Do I just drop here? I'm gonna drop. Because I expect the switch. Yeah. Sidestep should give me a card for sure right here. Yeah. That's easy money. <laughs> Ooh, I love this Goku. He's so fun. I can't do anything there. It's kind of stuck. I had no strikes to counter it. I could have maybe tap. No, I can't tap. Punch. I went a little too fast, but I'm not mad at that. Just take it. And also, like, when he gets hit, he just takes Dragon Balls off. He's healing a lot. He can, He's the type of character that's annoying to play against, but not, like, oppressively annoying, like Vegito or Rosé. Like, I... Gogeta, excuse me, or Rosé. But I, I... I understand why they do that, though. Like I said, it is it is a gotcha game. Like, these characters have to get progressively better to an extent. So I understand it. I just hate it. Like, it's garbage. Anyway, whatever. He has to keep switching to try to fight off the type advantage and disperse the damage. That Vegeta was a mistake. 
Ah, Vegeta should not have been in this match. He should have used Super Saiyans, 100%. The funny thing about this video is I've left this Goku in for most of the video. Like, I have hardly switched him out. I will switch him out here. Yeah, oh, I click late. I knew that there was gonna be a blast right there. Yeah, but I've tried to leave the Goku in for as much as possible. That, that might be like, this video may be like a new record because I typically don't let them take much damage so I can show them as much as I can in their initial showcase video. But I just let this Goku take all the hits. I didn't really care, man. Sorry, buddy. I knew you were desperate. We're gonna get locked here. But he dies. And again, I know you're a little desperate right here, so. You're trying to be super aggressive, I understand. Trust me, I do. If I were in your shoes right there, I would have done the same. I understand, buddy. Good job not sidestepping. I didn't even expect that quick attack, by the way. That came out of freaking thin air. Like, it just, I was already mid sidestep. Oh, wow. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> lucky, lucky. But I would have run the mad at it. <laughs> Ooh, all I have to do is sidestep, but I clicked the card. Ooh, that's lucky. Dude, I get hit by those once every other, every other day, though. Somebody just throws a random rush or something. It's like, what the F? <laughs> I'm not mad at that. All right, GG, buddy. So, yeah, um, I like the Goku a lot. I think they did a great job with his design, personally. <coughs> um, did not too flashy, nothing crazy. Um, the issue with him is more or less, well, I think he, I didn't come up against Gogeta, but I think he actually can wall off Gogeta okay. Not to say he'll shut him down or counter him or anything, but I think he can wall him off. I think he, he probably was designed with Gogeta in mind. So, because some of the stuff he's doing is like good versus Gogeta, right? So, you know, he's not gonna do, I mean, he could, like you saw throughout the whole video, he could do good damage. Um, so yeah, you know, the real question is, so also answer this, who's the better character right now? This Goku or the Majin Buu? Majin, <laughs> I should also probably throw Majin Vegeta in because he got a Zenkai recently. He was a couple weeks ago, but I'm not. Uh, if you want to mention him, go for it. But the reason why Majin Buu is relevant is because he also was a part of this update, getting that equip. The equip is super duper flashy looking, but I wasn't all that impressed with Majin Buu. And it's 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 probably partly biased, not against Majin Buu, even though I hate Regen. Um, but because I really like this Goku's play style. I don't really care for Majuru's play style, the things in his kit, what he wants to do, what his goal is, the no switch, blah, 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 the ceiling. He's just an annoying character. I don't really care for his play style. That might be a little bit of bias, but I just felt like he did more damage. This Goku's a better tank by far. It's not really close because Majuru has he has no kit. I mean, he has no cut in his kit. Excuse me. It's not it's not even remotely close. Um, and they're both defense types, which is kind of funny to see. So let me know. I think maybe he, I, mean, I think maybe the the answer is offensively Majin Buu, defensively Goku. Utility wise, they both actually do some of the same stuff, healing, etc. Maybe I revisit Majin Buu on a team with this Goku. Should I do that? Let me know. Again, remember check out that thumbs up or check out that link down below. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Have an awesome day and take it easy.